We left Ireland behind for the busy and very expensive London. With only two days here, we decided on skipping sites which were not free. Early on our first morning, we got in line for the greatly anticipated Natural History Museum. This is, this is wild. This like, building is massive. Yeah. So There's much to four, see here. Four or five levels. Yeah. I'm geeking out. I, I, I'm, I'm very giddy right now. One in eight of the world's bird species is endangered. It's a ground sloth. A ground sloth. You're tiny. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> when we travel these different places, we, yeah. we fill in the map, but this is this like... This is like filling in our history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will say, fun fact about Elisa, when I was little, I literally would go out into the bushes and catch spiders and collect them in bottles and then I would like let them crawl on my arms. Like, I hate spiders now. <laughs> they're, they're gross. So this is the actual fossil of the first big bird. This has provided a lot of evidence on how dinosaurs evolved into birds and how we have birds now. And I guess there are only 11 uh, of these fossils ever found. And you can see, uh, the, you can see its feathers. It's so well preserved that you can see all the, the indentation that its, its feathers left. So yeah, that's amazing. Uh, so I never knew how to say that bird's name. I guess it's Archaeopteryx. So yeah. Now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Been here about for about five hours, so <laughs> I think it's probably time to go. Wrap it up, boys. So the Natural History Museum was unbelievable. Yeah, I've I'm never seen anything like that in my life. Five and a half hours. <coughs> I'm sick. Also, Bre Brett's not feeling very well. Uh, we've got less than almost less than 24 hours left in London, so mm. we are going to do the most touristy shit. <laughs> Montage time. That's pretty much it. We are going to uh, grab a quick bite to eat and um, just relax and tell our bus to Amsterdam. Yeah. Here, I'm ready to slow down. And I mean, Amsterdam is a is a big city, yeah. but it's not like London. It's not like Dublin. It's yeah, it's much more chill. So I'm excited to explore some of the uh, like some of the city itself. But I'm also excited to just take a break because we're gonna be there for at least seven or eight days. Yeah. So that'll be nice. Not moving will be really really nice. Yeah. So. We'll catch you there. It's Monday and this place has a special on Mondays where it's only five pounds for pancakes and uh, certain, these, pancakes. certain pancakes and these are the pancakes that we got. I am very, very happy in this moment. As you can probably tell by the look on our faces, we are incredibly tired. And the reason for that is that it's about 1 a.m. and we're on an overnight ferry into Amsterdam. So we took this overnight bus leaving from London thinking that we were gonna be able to get some sleep uh, on the ride. After leaving London, we had to take a ferry across the Strait of Dover. Before we could get on that ferry, we had to go through Belgian border control. The thing was, 
we didn't actually know that we needed to get out. The bus driver literally waited until we were about to board the ferry, going through customs to wake everybody up on the bus over the loudspeaker and say like, hey, everybody needs to wake up right now. We all need to get off of the bus. Everybody needs to get their passports and we have to go through border control. If we do not do this fast enough, we will not make our ferry and we will be late getting into Amsterdam. Everybody has to get up and go now, now. Everybody's really surprised by this. I don't think anybody, including ourselves, really expected that. So everybody wakes up, files off the bus, and we make it through customs just fine. And so we get back on the bus, and we're all slowly falling back asleep, thinking it's going to be totally fine, and we're going to get through this ferry, and it's going to be fine, and we don't have to leave the bus at all. Now, hopefully, we can just sleep. Um, but then the bus driver comes on the speaker again, saying, okay, now everybody needs to get off the bus. Nobody can stay on the bus, not even me. We all have to go into the ferry, and you have an hour and a half until you get back here, so make sure you watch the time, because if you don't come back in an hour and a half, I'm going to leave you behind. So now we're all really freaked out because the bus driver had already threatened to leave some of us behind while getting checked at the border, which he did leave someone behind. And once we actually get onto the ferry, there's even a countdown telling us how much longer we had before we had to get back on the buses. The timer goes off and all of a sudden the voice on the loudspeaker is like, everyone back to the buses. It was the most easy process we've ever been through, uh, probably on the whole trip. Everyone made it back onto the buses just fine, and afterwards, we finally were able to get some sleep and make our way into Amsterdam. Next time on The Travel Diary. After our arduous bus journey, we made it into the beautiful city of Amsterdam. Unbeknownst to us, it was Euro Pride Week, and we decided to explore and enjoy the festivities. 